we've seen two kinds of control flow functions and conditionals and we've seen this idea of global state of our program keeping track of a value as it changes over time as the program runs. We're going to put all three of these things together to enable us to build a program with different modes. The user will be able to enter different kinds of values and the program will progress through these modes. Our first implementation of modes will be a simple program that can flip between two modes and the program will let us know which mode it's in. I'm going to give a brief description of how I want our game to work. When the game begins, the mode is in green. If the user types in R, then the mode changes to red. The user can type in anything else at any other time and the program will print out the current mode once the user types in the letter to switch it to the other mode, then it'll switch. I'm going to start by getting another copy of the starter code. Now I'm going to open my new folder in VS Code. The description of the behavior that we just gave means that the game is constantly keeping track of which mode it's in. And this is a global value that we need to keep track of. We also need some conditionals in order to switch the value of the mode from red to green and vice versa. The pseudocode for our game might look like this. I moved our pseudocode into the appropriate place and now we can begin coding. So first, uh, the comment at the top mentions that we need a global value that holds the game mode and that it begins in green. And then here we have uh, a condition that looks to see if the user has typed in the letter R. And then over here we have a condition that looks to see if the user has typed in the letter G. And if the user has typed in the letter R, then we're going to change the game mode. And if the user has typed in the letter G, we're going to change the game mode. And in my output value, I want to output the game mode. Let's run this and see how it is in the browser.